and happy Mother's Day, Mum. I wish I could spend it with you. Actually, let me rephrase that. I wish you could spend it with me. My mom absolutely loves elephants. They're a favorite animal. And I think that she would really enjoy spending a morning in their company. Who doesn't love elephants? I'm pretty sure this is the same herd that Tristan had. I know he had a female with half an ear. That female at the back has half an ear. She's, mis in fact, not even a third of her ear. Ah, William, in, who is seven years old. William, you'd like to know what is the name of my favorite elephant. William, typically on a big reserve like this, we actually don't name all that many elephants. Uh, but I've got, I can't choose just one. Can I, can I tell you some of my favorite names? There was an elephant where I used to work because we, it was a known population. We knew exactly how many elephants there were called Cheeky. And Cheeky was my favorite elephant because Cheeky was, as her name suggests, cheeky but not aggressive. She just was very protective over her family. And that's what mommy elephants do. They're really very good at protecting their entire herd. And whenever I drove up to that particular herd, Queenie's herd, she would walk right up to the car, not angry, just to make sure that we were all behaving and that we were going to continue to behave. So Cheeky was special. Yesterday I saw one of my favorite elephants. It's a female with a short trunk. She's called lots of different names. We sort of call her the stumpy trunk elephant, but she's got lots of different names out here. And then and there's one other very special elephant called Olympia. Now, Olympia is the mother of Benjamin Button, who was a little baby elephant with a very wrinkly forehead. And I like Olympia because Olympia was named by a very special little girl called Gracie. So those are my favorite elephants. Hello, big guys, girls, sorry, ladies. You're all ladies. I'm not gonna reposition. I'm just gonna wait for this female to come to us. There's a little male. Okay, so I wasn't completely off. There are some boys here, some young boys. They look as though they're going to come right across to our camp. I think we're going to have an elephant filled day. I think we're going to spend our days, or our day, eating breakfast, listening to the sound of elephants feeding. That's lovely. And then, of course, don't forget, we have our Mother's Day TV show this afternoon from 3 to 5, which means the Sunset Safari will be one hour shorter. But I'm sure you'll all be joining us. We have plenty of exciting things planned. And on the subject of time changes or reminders we actually have another time change scheduled and that will start on the sunrise safari on tuesday and the date escapes me the 16th the 16th of may the sunrise safari on the 16th of may will begin half an hour later and that's just because we're driving around in the dark as it is um, it is of course winter so the days are getting shorter and when we drive around in the dark we drive over tracks and we can't actually do our jobs to the best of our ability. So the best time to be out is with the sunrise. So we're changing our time with the sunrise and the sunrise drive, hello beautiful, will be half an hour later. Here you go. This is what I was waiting for. I was waiting for her to come to us. Oh, is that nice? Nice acacia. <laughs> She's looking at me with disdain. straight into her mouth. She didn't even bother to break it off with her trunk first. They love these red thorn acacias and flaky bark acacias. And there's quite a few of them in this area. And their diet's going to shift more and more towards eating trees. Ah, sounds as though our morning is warming up and so are the animal sightings. Taylor's got three different species. <laughs> 